The Andromeda Galaxy has played a central role in shaping our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is the closest to the Andromeda Galaxy. We believe there are about 100 billion galaxies in the visible universe. The discovery of Andromeda was decisive proof that the cosmos and the concept of creation did not revolve around the Earth, shattering the notion that the Milky Way was the only galaxy in existence. It suggested that we are only a small part of a vast universe. Over the past century, much of our knowledge of Andromeda has been gleaned from observations on Earth. But with advanced tools like the James Webb Space Telescope at our disposal, our perspective has changed dramatically. Surprisingly, recent data from the James Webb Telescope has changed our previous understanding of the Andromeda Galaxy. JWST received signals from our neighboring galaxy, surprising the entire scientific community. Join us as we explore how JWST received an alarm signal from our neighbor in the Andromeda Galaxy. The understanding of the Milky Way has indeed undergone major changes throughout human history, shaped by our evolving understanding of the cosmos. In the past, when our technological capabilities were limited, the Milky Way appeared as a hazy band of light in the night sky, inspiring various interpretations and mythologies. It was often considered a mystical and central element in the cosmological beliefs of diverse cultures. As our scientific knowledge developed, especially through telescopes and the work of astronomers like Galileo Galilei, we came to understand that the Milky Way is not just a celestial concept, but a vast collection of stars, planets, and other celestial bodies. This understanding changed our understanding of our place in the universe. Thanks to modern telescopes and astronomical research, we have a much clearer picture of the Milky Way than the spiral galaxy that contains billions of stars, including our own SUN.I. In the 1920s, American astronomer Edwin Hubble made a pioneering discovery using the 100-inch Hooker telescope at the Mount Wilson Observatory. Hubble observed distant nebula belts beyond the Milky Way. By observing and analyzing these objects, he showed that they are not actually part of the Milky Way, but are completely separate galaxies, each containing billions of stars. One of the closest galaxies was the Andromeda Galaxy, also known as M31. The Andromeda Galaxy has a rich history of observations spanning centuries. One of the earliest records of the celestial body dates back to the 11th century, when the Persian astronomer ABD Aurman al-Sufi described it as a small cloud on small stars of the period. The significance of these observations is that al-Sufi was able to identify this distant cosmic entity without the help of telescopic instruments, relying only on his keen sight and observations. It was not until 1612 that Simon Marius gave a detailed description of the Andromeda Galaxy based on telescopic observations. His work laid the groundwork for future astronomers to study this vast cosmic structure. Later in 1764, the famous French astronomer Charles Messier cataloged the Andromeda Galaxy as M31 in his Messier catalog and accidentally blamed Simon Marius for its discovery. However, this does not diminish Messier's role in putting Andromeda on the map. Almost 100 years after those observations, astronomers around the world have tried to understand more about this mysterious galaxy, each adding to the latest findings. Before that, Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei changed our understanding of the Milky Way in the early 17th century. Using his newly developed telescope, he made groundbreaking observations that challenged the prevailing Aristotelian cosmology. In 1750, the English astronomer Thomas Wright proposed a new hypothesis in his work, The Original Theory of the Universe, or a new hypothesis. According to Wright's speculation, the Milky Way was not a random distribution of stars in space, but a completely uniform layer of stars. He also suggested that part of this vast structure was our own solar system. Although Wright's hypothesis was a step forward in understanding the structure of the Milky Way, it was still limited by the observational technology available at the time. A significant leap in the understanding of the nature of the Andromeda Galaxy took place in 1864, when the English astronomer William Huggins made a wonderful observation. He studied the spectrum of Andromeda and noticed that it was different from the typical gaseous nebula. This discovery paved the way for the world to understand Andromeda as it really is. 
The mass of the Andromeda galaxy is estimated at 1 to 2 trillion times the mass of our Sun, making it a massive cosmic structure that happens to be relatively close to us in the vastness of space. In all studies so far, scientists believe Andromeda is about 10 billion years old, making it quite ancient on a cosmic scale. One interesting aspect of the origin of Andromeda is the hypothesis that it was formed from the merger of several smaller proto-galaxies. This suggests that over billions of years, smaller galactic entities gradually merged under the influence of gravity to form the majestic Andromeda galaxy we see today. Galactic mergers are common phenomena in space and shape the growth and structure of galaxies. However, for a long time astronomers thought that Andromeda was significantly more massive than our own Milky Way. This misconception is understandable due to the limitations of observation tools in the 18th and 19th centuries. Recent research has prompted a reassessment of these beliefs. The new findings have led scientists to lower the estimate of Andromeda's mass while increasing the mass of our Milky Way. Current understanding is that the masses of these two cosmic giants are much closer than previously thought. So if you were on Andromeda and looked at Earth, you would see an equally massive galaxy. This puts into perspective how big the Milky Way itself is. However, astronomers completely agree on the physical dimensions of the Andromeda galaxy. It is known to extend further than our own Milky Way, with an impressive diameter of around 220,000 light years. Andromeda exceeds the estimated diameter of the Milky Way, which is approximately 100,000 to 175,000 light years, making it a truly remarkable cosmic entity that occupies a large amount of space. This revised perspective also highlights the complexities and challenges of accurately measuring the mass of galaxies. The supermassive black hole at the heart of the Andromeda galaxy exerts an extremely strong gravitational pull on the surrounding stars. As these stars orbit the black hole, they follow elliptical paths similar to the planets orbiting the sun in our solar system. At a certain point in an elliptical orbit, the stars come closest to the black hole, and this point is called perihelion. At perihelion, gravitational forces are the strongest, therefore the stars move at the highest speed. In this case, the stars merge and merge in the space around a black hole. As stars cluster, they release energy in the form of radiation, including visible light and other types of electromagnetic radiation. The increased concentration of stars and the release of radiation create a brighter focus that astronomers observe in the galactic core of the active galactic nucleus of Andromeda, AGN. This characteristic provides valuable clues about the dynamics of gravity and the interaction between a supermassive black hole and its surrounding stars. To better understand this, let's look at what an AGN is. An active galactic nucleus, commonly known as an AGN, is a highly energetic region at the center of a galaxy. It is characterized by strong emissions at various wavelengths from radio waves to X-rays. AGNs are powered by the supermassive black hole at the heart of the galaxy. These supermassive black holes are incredibly dense regions of space where an enormous amount of mass is packed into a very small volume. When astronomers observe the active galaxy with advanced nuclear telescopes such as the Hubble Space Telescope, they notice a very interesting phenomenon. One of the most fascinating features of the Andromeda galaxy is its AGN. It seems to have two foci, meaning that there are two separate areas where light and other forms of radiation radiate more strongly than the surrounding areas. The brighter focus is the second focus, located slightly away from the actual galactic center. A supermassive black hole resides in that region. The mass of this black hole is estimated at 1.1 to 2.3 times the mass of 10 to the power of 8 suns, which means that it weighs about 110 to 230 million times more than our sun's supermassive black holes are thought to be common in the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way, and play a crucial role in the evolution and dynamics of galaxies. When matter, such as gas and stars, gets too close to a supermassive black hole, it forms an accretion disk around it. That spinning disk of material heats up and emits intense radiation at different wavelengths, making the AGN very bright. When astronomers observe the active galactic core of the Andromeda galaxy, they notice a brighter focus near the central supermassive black hole. This property is the result of the unique gravitational interaction between the black hole and nearby stars. 
The Andromeda Galaxy also has another very interesting feature, an abundance of globular clusters. These globular masses are dense groups of stars that orbit the center of the galaxy as satellites orbit a planet. The Andromeda Galaxy is known to contain more than 500 globular clusters,